Hey everyone, it's Cassie and I am here with LDRS Creative and today I'm going to show you how to make this fabulously fun interactive flamingo. This flamingo comes from a brand new stamp set called On The Move. We're going to be using this flamingo and his wing. We're going to stamp the wing twice. You don't have to, but I'm going to show you what I do with the wing, with the second wing in a minute. So I'm using LDRS Creative Hybrid Ink in Raven. This ink is good for alcohol marker coloring as well as watercolors and colored pencils and whatever other color medium you want to use. So I'm going to speed through the coloring real fast so we can get right on to how you actually put this together. Now that it's colored, we're going to fussy cut along the stamped line. We're also going to cut the body out along that black line, but because his legs are so thin, you do need to leave a little bit of a white border around those. The next thing you're going to need is a small brad. If you have one that matches, you can use that. If you want to hide your brad later, you can do that too. If you want your brad to match and you don't have one that matches, you can alter it with any alcohol ink. Now we need to make the hole for the brad. You're going to want the hole around the top, like his shoulder blade maybe area. It's easiest to mark it with a pencil first and then punch. Then you can line up that wing behind your flamingo and figure out where exactly it needs to be. At first I tried just punching it through both layers, but it was kind of hard to get it lined up right. So I suggest doing what I will do in a second here and marking with a pencil through the hole you've already made onto the wing and then punching it from there. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just marking it and then punching the wing separately. From there, you can line up those holes again with the wing behind the flamingo, put your brad through, and open up the back of the brad to secure it. Once you have that done, you can test it out to make sure it moves freely. You can use it as is at this point if you want. If you want to hide the brad, take that second wing that we stamped and colored and put a little bit of adhesive on the end of it. Don't put any on the shoulder where the brad is. You don't want to glue the brad but you can add a little bit of glue and just glue that right on top of that top wing and it will hide your brad. This is a really fun and easy way to add some interactive elements to your cards.